Every year, we are reminded of the day the music died. The Buddy Holly plane crash north of Clear Lake, Iowa in 1959 has shaped the community and the rock and roll scene it still holds today. Kemi Raisler has the story. We're going to keep the rock and roll going for you on AM 1490 and 96.7 FM KRIB with Buddy Holly and Peggy Sue. We celebrate that rock and roll, you know, that step back in time. If you knew Peggy Sue, it's 50s and 60s rock and roll on KRIB this time of year to remember that night in February 1959. Here's Waylon Jennings. KRIB was a media sponsor of the Winter Dance Party that year, the last night. Rising rock stars Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper ever hit the stage. Richie's sister, Connie, remembers it well. It was probably, other than losing Mama, the worst day of our lives. The trio, along with the pilot, died in a plane crash on February 3, 1959. We are often reminded of them with this banger. Don McLean's American Pie. But something touched me deep inside the day the music died. A long, long time ago. We still remember. So bye bye, Miss American Pie. They are remembered every day at the surf ballroom in Clear Lake. And if people talk about the day the music died, uh, the music died just for a brief moment, but one of the missions of us here at the surf is to see that the music never dies. People come from all over the country and world to visit this rock and roll hot spot. I've been a rock and roll fan my entire life, a, bit, a Buddy Holly fan for most of my life. I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. For Connie, it's a place filled with memories. I'm on the left with the little barrette and the hair on my knees and the white dress. Her brother was only 17 when he died. Mama told us that Richie was going to be gone and it was, it was going to be really cold where he was going and he wouldn't be home for a while. She comes back to the surf ballroom because it's a truly special spot for her. I walked in the middle of the ballroom and I could just feel his presence and as I walked to the end of the stage I put my hands on it. And for me at that moment, he was there. Hundreds will be at this year's winter dance party at the surf ballroom, but many will also visit here. This is the spot just north of Clear Lake in Mason City where the plane went down 64 years ago. The site is now marked with oversized glasses reminiscent of the ones Holly was famous for. Despite a tragedy years ago, the show must go on. The festivities have just begun for the 2023 Winter Dance Party. The weekend is jam-packed with artists about to hit the stage. And for some, this is the most important time of year. The music didn't die. It lives on, and it lives on through each and every person that walked through the door. And that's why we call this our February family. In Clear Lake, Iowa, Cami Raisler, KTTC News.